to the people of the San Saba territories and those visitors graced with being in its bountiful lands. Nearly a year has passed since my last letter, and those of us on the Widow's Peak have so much to share with you all. This year provided us with an extra abundance of livestock early in the season. Too many, frankly, for us to handle appropriately. Thankfully, Clothia Lovelace is a fine woman of good works, and she and her people were able to spread the wealth to several needy families across the San Salva territories. Our church, under the inspired hand of Immaculate Lovelace, has seen a recent expansion to the building. It is of simple design and fine quality, and has provided extra room for worship and care. It will provide a safe place to ward against the cold, both of the spirit and the flesh. Hard work in the soil through the growing season, and a light burning season, have provided us with a silo near bursting at the seams. Even with charitable works, we truly have an abundance. Saying bountiful would almost seem to be boasting, but we have been blessed and blessedly able to share. Because of these things, the grace of our bountiful harvest, the space of our comforting church, and the charitable nature of our family, we extend an invitation. Come, join us for the Winter Lights Festival, here upon the peak. Candlelight and hearth fires, songs and prayer, offerings to those who have come before, and remembrance that family is what keeps us strong and together. These are the things that will see us through the cold and the dark. These will be the things that keep us safe from the predations of the long walkers. Our family has been hard at work, preparing a stock of lights and candles beyond what we have had for many a year. In the spirit of community, we would share this event and our bounty with you. Join us in the honest and simple joys of family, food, and the winter lights. Blessed be you all, Gregory Lovelace of the Widow's Peak.